So it is a treatment modality, it's a healthcare profession that uh, we have strategies and outcomes, we have goals that we have uh, to, to accomplish with our clients, and the way that we accomplish those goals is using music. And that has a lot of different applications, it has a lot of different uh, strategies that we can do that by. So we can do it through singing, we can do it through instrument playing, we can do it through listening or um, you know, expressing our, ourselves through music in any, any and all capacities, whatever's appropriate. So there's a lot of, because music has so many applications, there's a lot of misunderstanding of what exactly music therapy is. So it is not music lessons. Uh, music education is obviously a wonderful thing, but music therapy and music education are different. They're two different things. So I'm not teaching my clients how to play instruments. I'm teaching them life skills through music making. So I'm not interested in them being a good piano player or a good guitar player. I'm interested in the way that we socialize together or the way that we uh, would interact with one another or the way that they express themselves while we're making music. So that's kind of that's kind of the uh, outcomes of what we're looking for. <laughs> nice. So, you've been okay? You had a good week? Yeah. Tell me, about, tell me about your week. I know I saw you this morning, but tell me about your week. Anything? I've been, I've been going good. Mm-hmm. What you been up to? You've been going to work, right? Oh yeah, I will. Yesterday, you know, today's my day off. Mm -hmm. She, she really gonna come when she come in the door. She asked me, "What do you want to do today? What do you want to sing? Or do you want to play today? Or do you want?" to Play the guitar, listen to music. Sometimes I play the guitar. So she te did she teach you how to play that? Yeah. What, what, other, what other instruments do you guys do? I got a couple harmonicas that I play with, but uh, one of them I lost. It's not. It's not just for kids. That's one of the um, one of the things I think I was initially attracted to the field uh, in the beginning when I was learning about it myself. Is that music therapy is uh, applicable across the lifespan? Um, so I have experience working in NICU, uh, in the NICU setting, in a medical setting, um, with premature babies. Um, so even you know if you're thinking like the youngest of the young <laughs> babies who were born before they were due. Um, and then at the same time, I was also able to work with, uh, at the other end of the spectrum, at end of life, hospice palliative care, uh, doing spiritual support and uh, physical support and things like that. So, and then there's all in between. You know, there's yeah. adults, older adults, geriatric. Um, a lot of my clientele is between the ages of 20 and maybe 50, and then the other half is school-age children and a little bit younger, so. Um, it's one of the things that um, makes even individual music therapists interesting and uh, we can kind of choose any any age, any field, uh, any population that we want to go into, it's available. <laughs>